If you would think right now, top 10 scientists of all time, you would start with Einstein, with Thomas Edison, with a lot of male scientists. But where are the women? Their stories are hidden. And that's why the U.S. State Department brought us here, 48 women from all around the world. And we get a chance to meet one another and see what amazing things we do. And we get to connect. The program is called Hidden No More. It started off after everyone got so excited around the movie Hidden Figures. So all U.S. embassies did a screening of Hidden Figures. The diplomats loved it so much, they then decided in 48 different countries to identify one woman who was working in that country, who was particularly fighting the good fight for gender equality and inclusion, and to ask her to participate in a three-week program where we tour around America, looking at different projects, looking at different schools, coming to different university campuses, to really understand what's going on over here and try and implement the really good parts of that in our home countries and also build an international network where we can all collaborate with each other. Being a woman in STEM and meeting these incredible women, it's actually sharing our challenges and seeing how they are dealing with it in the different countries. But most especially is actually what are we doing together? Because most of the times we think we are alone, but now it's a collective action. Let us do it together. This is what we can take back to our different countries and implement. I think probably the coolest part is to see the passion that each one of the women has specific for science as a whole, so not just their field, but really getting other women and other girls into science. Our education programs are hugely focused on getting kids excited about science, and these are the kind of people that we want to see that are champions for doing that. I love it. The film Hidden Figures demonstrates the power of storytelling and the power of media and entertainment to start conversations that otherwise might not have been had or might have been had at the fringes and not brought into the mainstream and it just is that sort of catalyst that sometimes you need to make progress. I think it's an absolutely incredible film and it's inspirational for a lot of reasons but one of the main ones is these women weren't getting anything out of it other than pushing the American dream a bit further and they were doing it for that, they were doing it for the math and the science, not any of the glory. And I think that's such a valuable message for young scientists like me and also young scientists training, becoming, starting their science adventure. My advice would be to stay curious, keep asking questions, keep discovering new things, keep learning. I would say to the children, go out and explore. I so many points and I wanted to give up, like it was so hard, but the fact that you just know that you can do it and you have that strength in you, so don't give up. The things that you get to do with science and engineering, with any job you could go into, are so valuable and so worth it and you will be designing, creating, changing the world. This will open doors for the rest of your life, so just stick with it and I promise it will be worth it.